Hello? Do you want to craft? I'll put the coffee on. from Crafting with ADHD. When people find out that I'm an Etsy seller, they usually want to know what my best seller is. And when I tell them that it's embroidered toilet paper, they get this look on their face like you probably have on yours right now. But you did hear me correctly, I did say embroidered toilet paper. The next question is usually, how do you embroider on toilet paper? So today I'm going to go through step-by-step step my process and hopefully inspire you. All right, so what you will need for this project. First, a four by four embroidery hoop. Cutaway stabilizer. Now I've tried a lot of different stabilizers on this and tear away tears as you embroider. So I do really recommend that you use cutaway. What toilet paper do you use? I've tried a lot of different toilet papers and I have actually found the cheaper, the better. This particular one came from Dollar Tree and it is my go-to. Then you will need scissors, embroidery thread, two pins, rubber bands. I prefer to use clear ones. I believe these also came from Dollar Tree as did the loot bags to wrap them in and the tool or some tool to tie as a bow on the top. Okay. All right, to start this project, you're going to hoop your stabilizer. Again, I highly recommend using the cutaway stabilizer. And then you're going to get your roll of toilet paper open and unroll quite a bit of it. You're going to go back and find three squares one, two, three, and Fold it over and then fold it over one more time. Then this part is going to go down on your hoop. I always put my toilet paper on this side so that it's off out of the way. And center it up on your hoop. So my square is here to here, and then I just float it by pinning on either side. Sometimes it takes more than one attempt. And you're ready to take it to your machine. And I'm just going to put my needle down and push start.
As you can see, the machine is embroidering on it just as if there were fabric under the needle. From this point, I'm just going to continue through the thread changes until it's done. Uh, there's about 15 minutes on this design, and I don't think you want to watch the entire thing, so I'll be back with you in just a moment. Okay, so now that my machine is finished, I'm going to carefully remove my hoops so that I don't tear the toilet paper off the roll and take it back to my table to trim the loose threads and prep it for shipping. Okay, so I have clipped all of my jump stitches and now I'm going to carefully remove this from the hoop. and trim off the excess stabilizer. And you just take the roll and start rolling it back up. Make sure you tuck in the loose ends. Get it as even as you can. Take the plastic baggie and place your toilet paper inside. Try to get the design on the flat side of the bag. Once you have it positioned the way that you want it, you gather the top up. band around the top and take the length of tool that you had and tie it in a bow around the front. There you have it, embroidered toilet paper.